Hello. I'm back. Yeah. And I'm back because, yeah, I need to do a Saturday film. Anyway, no, this is not the Nebula palette. I have not done the Nebula palette yet. I did this one because I wasn't doing anything in particular. It's the Ace Beauty Nostalgia. This is another one that I got hold of by way of one of the boxes. I don't remember if it was an add-on or if it was just part of one of the boxes or what. But there you go. Anyway, I'm doing this one because Angie of 4F Beauty said tag. So here we are. She wanted me to do the Makeup Marvels tag that Paige came up with. I've got links and stuff all down in the description, and I'll put all the questions in. Now, you, with some of the questions, you have to take a bit of a step back and look at them and reread them because some of them are a little snarky and some of them are just a shade on the filthy side. <laughs> Excuse me. It's called allergy season. Yes, that's why my voice sounds like I've been gargling rocks. Anyway, this is a fairly short one because there's only eight questions which is like really interesting. Question one, Lady Prime, primer that actually works. I use my e.l.f. putty primer for about everything. And I've got the putty primer for the face and then I've got the little pot of putty primer for the eyes in white. They've actually got two shades, so you can pick. But yeah, I use the one in white because I do. But that's my primers that work. I love my primers. Number two, Ripe and Hype. Makeup that was actually worth it, worth the hype. Okay, more than likely the Kaleidos is, but I haven't actually tried the palette yet, so I can't really say. However, the Ace Beauty Nostalgia, I think, is definitely worth any hype that Ace Beauty ever got. This thing is beautiful. It goes on beautiful. It's got incredible colors. I mean, come on. Now, I've got a bunch of palettes that people have either sent me because they wanted to or have managed to pick up on sale or something that, but I don't really normally pick up stuff that's gotten a lot of hype. As a matter of fact, the stuff that gets the most hype is the stuff that I either scrounge through my collection to dupe, or I pick some of the inspired buys and use those. So, yeah, it's like I don't really have all that much stuff to really look at and go worth the hype I just I, the Ace Beauty is one I've got a couple of pieces from Colored Rain that came in through the boxes which I dearly love I wish I could afford more I wish they would send me more um But it's, it's not so much the stuff that's the hype. 
in particular. I mean, I went after the Chipotle from Elf. And you know about me and Elf. If you've been here any length of time, you know about me and Elf. Um, no, I'm not sponsored, but I love their stuff. And I'm not that impressed with the Chipotle. Um, I got one of the second round um, palettes that they did with a, did a collab on that was for Dog Rescue. And I wasn't that impressed with the way the formula was. And I'm like, guys, you know you can do better. You know you can. But there was a lot of hype about that palette. And it's like, mm, you yeah, know. One of the ones that feels good about all the hype is the BH Zodiac. I like that one. Of course, it took me until it was like two years old before I bought one, but hey. Late Bloomer, a product you waited to try and then wish you would have tried it sooner. I cannot for the life of me think of anything that I specifically pushed off to wait for except because of finances. And trying to figure out what I would have used, you know, which one I would have loved to have laid hands to sooner comes back to money. So, you know, it's like the BH Zodiac is one of those. Um, some of the others that people rave about, the original of uh, this, that, or the other thing, you know, from like a big name like ABH or something like that, I don't really have anything that I've been like going, no, no, I must not do this. So, yeah, some of my palettes that I've, I've acquired are like, okay, yeah, that's, that's like pretty spiff, but I, like I said, I've got a lot of them that are inspired buys or the ones where I've scrabbled through my stuff. And I can't think of that much else that would fit into this category for me just because most of the stuff that I want, I get. If I want it bad enough, I get it sooner. Um, but I don't normally go after some big something or other that's got like a massive hype to it. Not even, you know, it's like it's nice to be able to have stuff, but I don't really have that much that I wish I'd found sooner. I know, it's sad. Um, tentative tingles. The palette you were on the fence about, but now are obsessed. That would be the Kaleidos palette. I was, the fence I was on though was stocking issues. <laughs> I knew from the get go, hearing about this palette and listening to Angelica go on about it 
and then hearing the names of some of the shades. See, she and I were in one of the big group community collaborations and it was fun working with her. So that was a point in favor of doing this. I mean, I've spoken a time or two with Hannah from Smoky Glow, you know, through the, the chat thing on, you know, sending comments back and forth. And yeah, I've spoken a time or two with Betty Jean from Butte Bean and same kind of thing. A few comments that have gotten like a heart or a reply. And I know they have palettes. And I've been watching Nikki tutorials for forever. And I know she has a palette, but that's not the same kind of connection as even being even though we don't know each other, have never met, we were in a group collab together. <laughs> That's one connection. Second connection. Both of us have a thing about images of nebulas that we can get off of the science channels. Some of the nebulas are fantastic. And if you don't believe me about nebulas, I'm wearing them. The upper plug here is a yin-yang, but it's based on a nebula image. I love nebulas. I love science fiction. I love gaming. That's the third point about the Kaleidos palette. One of the shades is named Naru, which is a character class in the game World of Warcraft that she and I both play. No, we don't play together, but she and I both play. And then there's Seven of Nine, which is from Star Trek, and Firefly, which is from another TV show on space and science fiction. And there's a lot of stuff like that in this in this palette. And I'm going, oh yeah, this is speaking to me. <laughs> so I saved my shekels. Original launch. I'm sitting on the computer. I've got the page pulled up. The, the time hits, it does the refresh th thing, and we have to get back in line. I'm in line, I get my number put in, and when I go to run the, the charge, it says card declined, and I'm going, excuse me? There's plenty of money on this thing. What in the world? So I tried one more time and it still said card decline. And I came back out and I looked at my bank and I'm going, what the hell? And by the time I had tried to go back in and try one more time, it was saying out of stock. And I'm going, well, I now know why it was declined. It stop the procedure because it was out of stock. So then I waited and I heard that there was going to be a restock. I was so happy and I put, I set an alarm and I waited and I was all ready to go, had my card in hand, everything. I was ready. Red D. Same concern thing. Two attempts. Third attempt, it says sold out, out of stock. And I'm sitting there going, you, 
Mm. And I said, okay, fine. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I'm not doing this again. I don't care if they get it in again. They did the, did the second restock and my backside was in the chair. Imagine that. I said I didn't want it. So what did it do? Ended up in my cart. Ended up going through the line. Ended up being a successful purchase. And now it's here. So, yeah. Tentative tingles. I was sitting biting my nails the whole time I was waiting for that palette to get here. I was going, please don't let it be broke. Please don't let it be broke. And it got here and it was perfect. And if you haven't seen it yet, there is an actual film of me hugging the palette. <clears throat> anyway. Number five, the Game Changer. A product that literally changed how you do your makeup, a part of your routine. Some people wait a lifetime for this moment. That would be the day that I discovered eye primer, not not foundation on the eyelid, not consquealer on the eyelid, an actual primer for the eyes. Once I found that there was such an animal as eye primer. I have not put on makeup without one since. Now this is not a great working long time either. I discovered primer for the eyes when I first started watching YouTube for makeup just before I started doing my own channel. I started doing my own channel in August of 18. Yes, I've been on that long now and still only have about 200 people. It's amazing how fast some of them drop right back off, you know. It just it I don't know what's going on. I know some of my stuff just does not make people happy. I'm not always Mary Sunshine. Anyway, no, I'm a cantankerous little old lady, occasionally with a foul mouth. And if I'm lucky, I've got, got the spot in the film where it comes out is someplace where I can hack it. Anyway, it's, it literally is eye primer. And it, real eye primer. I've done the thing forever with the, you know, here, just run your foundation over it and then do your makeup. And it's like, that's not the same thing, especially if you do it the way I did it. The way I did it, you run the foundation over your eyelid, then you powder everything. And yeah, it made some of your, your powder stuff glide easier. But it didn't always help it look good. Anyway, there's that bit. Number six, Lash Lady. Mascara that actually looks like the bitch on the box. This is actually the way Paige wrote these questions, okay? I'm reading it verbatim. The bitch on the box. 
mascara that looks good. That would be my e.l.f. mascara. This one that's got the toozy. Because you've got a large wand for doing your upper lashes and a small wand for doing your lower lashes so it's easier to get in there. And I love it. It's good. Right now, I'm back on trying to, you know, do the lash serum thing so I can get my eyelashes back. I got lazy and stopped doing it at one point. And all of that lash that I had gained, gone. So I'm having to start over a little. But the lashes I get with that e.l.f. mascara makes me very happy. Very happy. Okay, number seven. Shine and Dine. Gloss that's shiny without that fly paper effect. We all know about that when your hair blows across and it gets stuck like wads stuck and then when you take try and get your hair out it just smears everywhere um now Paige put a interesting description in the question and the description is sticky as a nasty dicky Again, this is not what I, all I can think of with that is just, ew. Hubby actually did a coffee spit take when I read it to him. <coughs> yeah, no. <clears throat> anyway, I don't think I have any that are not sticky. I mean, just, well, maybe one, maybe one, but it's not really that much of a lip gloss in particular. It's a lip gel and it's called Berry and Juice. And this one is Rose Current and it's a 100% vegan lip gel and it's wonderful it just it's wonderful I mean just lovely stuff it lays down nicely it's shiny but it's like it's not stuck to everything it's it's wonderful that's the only one i can think of but it's not really a it's not really what the question was asking for which is you know lip gloss and i don't think most of the i've got a few lip glosses but i really don't think most of them really get me that far. I mean, I've got the e.l.f. lip lacquer in a clear one. And I've got an AOA Studio. And this one's called Squaw Lips. It's, it, you know, a squalane thing. But most of my lip glosses are kind of... This one may not be too bad, the squalane one. But, you know, it's clear with a little shiny in it. There's, there's some little fine glitter that you cannot see, probably, on camera. But, you know, it's not sticky. It's a little tacky, but it's not flypaper. It's not goopy. You don't you you don't touch it and come off with big strings hanging. 
but that's usually something I put over top of something else, so I don't know. <laughs> it's all messy. Okay. Number eight. The anti-cake. A powder that sets without being all kinds of doughy on your face. Now, again, on your face. Y A, ya, face. These are some interesting, interesting sillinesses. Really. Now, powder. I'm an old bat. I'm 62. I'm an old bat. I'm a really old bat. Some of you will recognize this packaging. Cody Airspun. Let me tell you, this stuff It's a pain in the rear end to find it anymore. It really is. And I will still never get over the scent. I mean, my great grandmother used this stuff. Okay? My great grandmother used this stuff to powder her face. My grandmother used it. My mom used it. Now I've got it. It's been on the market since 1935. And they haven't ever changed the formula. This is the best damn powder on the planet. It rocks. It rocks solid. It is light. It is literally like touching silk when you run it over your fingers. You can tap your brush in it, tap it off, and tap your face to set the whole thing. And it's like it is glorious. If you have a scent issue or fragrance allergies, run. Stay away. Don't do it. If you don't have an issue with scent, you don't have an issue with, you know, perfumed powders, this is the bomb. This is my thing. This is my girl. I will not be giving her up anytime soon. Right behind that one is my Maybelline Shine Free. Okay? Maybelline Shine Free. It's another one that is so silky when you touch it. It is wonderful. Third on the list is the Halo Glow setting powder from e.l.f. Now, e.l.f. does not have scent. Airspun and Maybelline do. They have scent. This e.l.f. powder does not. And that one is my, my go-to if I'm worried about being around somebody who has a scent allergy. Because, yeah, the scent on the Cody and the Maybelline do dissipate. But because it's got perfume in it, if you go to hug somebody, they still may react if their allergies are bad enough. 
So, yeah, I've got three powders. One, two, three. Occasionally, I will use AOA setting powder. But it's not quite as finely milled. There's no scent, but there, it's not quite as finely milled. So, yeah, it's good, but it's not the top of my list. Anyway, believe it or not, that's all the questions. And like I said, some of them are a little iffy. Now, let's see. Ace Beauté on the eyes. With Midas Bitchin Eyeliner Palette on the liner and in the inner corner. Foundation. Because I figured, what the heck, I'm not going anywhere. I don't have to worry about a mask. I don't have to worry about sweating. So, you know, foundation. Elf Flawless Finish Foundation. I love this stuff. And this one is in light ivory. I love this stuff. This is my thing. And the bronzer is an e.l.f. bronzer palette. One of the ones that's got the little four squares. I've already put it away, so. Yeah, I know, too quick, but there you go. Um, the blush is e.l.f. It's one of the oh, open the wrong door, might as well show you anyway. There's my bronzer palette from Elf. I actually have two bronzer palettes from Elf. The powder one and a cream one. And then here's my mini bite highlight and blush. This one is in cantaloupe. Yes, yeah, so I was having fun with my elf again. And I put some of the highlight, same highlighter in here, up here, on my little nose. And then I've got Emori Hot Pink Liner Pencil. And Elf Berry Sorbet on my big mouth. So now you've had questions and answers. And no, I didn't film this while I was doing it. I was watching everybody else's film while I was doing this. So trying to keep caught up with everybody else's films. The Consquealer is Elf. This one's the Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish. Fair Warm. Yup, that would be me. I am having fun with the Ace Beauté. I am going to be getting to the Nebula. I, I want to, to do 
things with the nebula. Okay, I'll try and behave myself. I don't want to do that many things or that kind of thing. But I do want to do stuff with the nebula. Yes, it's so pretty. It really is. Now, I'm tagging people because I got tagged. I figured I'd share the love. Okay, tag one, and I've already told her in a comment on one of her own videos, because she doesn't watch my stuff, um, Soraya, 90's love child, is on a tag, because she was asking in that video, she said, I need more tag ideas, so I, I hit her. <laughs> I hit her with it. And then, I want Kaylee Westley. Tag, baby girl. Answer the questions. And then, who else am I going to hit up? Nona. Answer my questions, baby girl. I'm going to put all of the info that you need in the description. Copies of the questions. Copies of you know, all of the video links and everything for Paige's video. I'm gonna be waiting. Y'all be good.